Dear Diary, it's sort of a funny story. A few months ago, I met Jack. So it lasted six hours. What lasted six hours? A puppet show that Auntie Bridge went to. Still not, I don't know about it. Well, how much do you need to know? He has a pretty nice sized puppet. <laughs> <laughs> and then the next week... Give her a little kiss, you know, on the forehead there. Uh, I was talking about the baby. Mark, my ex and I had similar relations. Mr. Darcy. <laughs> But I can't go back and keep making same mistakes. I'm pregnant <laughs> when I can make new ones. So you have no idea which of us is the father? Surely one of those dates is more likely. They're both equally likely. So do bring along the father if you can work out which one he is. <laughs> <laughs> Better or worse, fate has brought us together. Both of you, stop it! Brought you a nice tea. Thank you. I brought you a super juice. Oh. Let me carry that for you. Thank you. Can I carry your phone? Bridget, who do you want to be the father? I don't know. It's like the final of the X Factor. Dial zero one if you wanted to be Mark, and zero two if you wanted to be Jack. In my mind, I'm riding around. Are you in love with him? I have been. In the past. And me? I could be. One day. How do you orchestrate such cliffhangers in your life? This is not how I thought this would be. But however we choose to do this, the most important thing is that baby, you're the best thing I've ever seen. Good God, Bridget, you're immense. This is a two-man job. Don't drop her! Which of you is the father? I am. I am. Right. <sighs> and who do we have here? I'm Bridget, and this is Jack, and this is Mark. Lovely. You're our second same-sex couple today. <laughs> <laughs>